Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about Hi, it. Hi, everyone. Episode what are we four. talking about today, Ryan? We are talking about bodies. Epis- awesome. Oh my God. Does anybody on the call about- have a body? Well, I'm sure a lot don't have bodies. I just finished a talk to the entities class and maybe they are with me. Oh. <laughs> So you mean we have those without bodies as well? Uh, yes, and they are welcome as well. As long as the money keeps rolling in, Ryan, everyone is everyone is welcome on this call. Yes, definitely, no exclusion. All right. Absolutely. So where shall we start? Uh-huh. I was thinking, how about how about we talk about? Uh, how about we talk about how many of us like actually like our bodies? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everyone get prepared. Wow. Okay, so how much do you hate your body? A lot, a oh, little, no. or megatons? A more than megaton. <clears throat> so everything that is, can you please destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. How but much what do if, you uh, your body? Let me clear that one more time, it's just a lot. Okay, <laughs> how, yes. How much do you hate your body and who hate your body and you made it yours? Wow. Everything that is, times a godzillion, do now please destroy and create it all. Yes, right, wrong, good, bad, 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 online, shots, boys, and beyonds. And also, who did you grow up around that hated their bodies so much that that's how you learn to be with your body? <laughs> Everything <laughs> that is, <laughs> can we destroy and uncreate it all? I wrong, good, and bad, 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 online, shots, boys, and beyonds. <clears throat> yeah, if you really wow. look at... Okay, so everyone, ask yourself these questions. Think about people that you know around you, like your friends, your families, your work colleagues, how many of those people that you personally know that they love their body? Mm, I don't know very many. I can't think of any. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, we, we don't see people liking their bodies. We only see people hating their body, fighting against their body, judging their body, Forcing the body to do things that the body doesn't want to do. <coughs> yes. Eating the oh, things God. that the body doesn't want to eat. Or sleeping with another body that the body doesn't want to sleep with. Oh so. my God. On, and worse, Ryan, sleeping with the body that they have decided they have to heal. <laughs> okay. So oh, Everything that is, can we please destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good and bad, talk and hot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Awesome. How does it get any better than this? Oh my God, I am so freaking glad that we are on this call. Well, I don't know. I think it's your idea, right? So it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's my fault. So we have someone saying that they know that their father loves their body. So how does it get any better than this? And what else? Congratulations. You Absolutely. Want to be the only one. And then there are also people who are saying, there's the Bharati who's saying, oh God, I need a barf bag, please. <laughs> I think right. a lot of us will need a bar bag and we've just got started. I, I forgot that we have translator. I keep talking over you and the translator look at me like, I can't <laughs> translate you when we talk <laughs> over each other. Okay, we I'm better. Sorry. I I'm, better. I also okay. better be uh, a little cautious right. about right. that. Okay. Sorry, right. so, Vinda. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, we, we are too excited, so... Yeah, Vinda, I mean, sorry, babe, you've just got to catch up. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I think Vinda's going to kill me after this call. <laughs> I don't know how she's going to translate. She's like, uh, they are both talking at the same time. I don't know how to translate. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Vinda. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you see, when we see so many examples of not being in communion with body, sometimes like we, we don't have any good example for us to learn from. Um, so, 
But what if you can now be the first one uh, among your friends or your families that don't try to change them, but at least if they choose, if they are willing to choose something different, you can inspire them. So what about that? I like that. Cool. So um, body is a huge topic. Uh, I don't even know where to start with this call. <laughs> so how about if we started at just asking everybody on this call to connect with their bodies by maybe placing their hand, like by just asking their body, where would, they, where would their body like it if they place their hand on it? Just, just for a starter. Like, could you all just place your hand somewhere on your body? Just ask your body, like, where can I place my hand today that would allow me to be more connected to you, that would allow you to be more connected to me? And then follow that awareness and just place your hand on your body and see how that feels. And you can also ask your body to connect with you. Sometimes for some people that is easier. Yes, so because you, we don't know how to connect. Yeah, yeah we are too dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, hey, body, I'm so stupid. Can you please connect with me? And of course, I try my best. I do my best to connect with you. Cool. <laughs> Awesome. How do you feel now? And can, can you all just, like, as if you were meeting your body for the first time today, would you be willing to just say hi? Like, like meeting someone for the first time and someone who, you, who, who really likes you, who likes having you around. And you may not know that, but your body, like, is so grateful for you, even when you're not grateful for it. So what if you took this opportunity to just say hi? So you mean, you mean it's like love at first sight with your body? I think so. And I think, you know, when the other party is the dumb one and doesn't realize that the other one is in love with them. <laughs> and then, interestingly, Ryan, because we don't know that there is this one being or one entity that is in love with us, uh, we keep looking for that love outside and we keep looking mm -hmm. for that validation outside when it's there with us all the time. Whoa. Wow. Everything that brought up or let down, can we please destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good and bad, power and part, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what has, what is your body trying to give to you, trying to contribute to you that you totally deny and you pretend your body, you know, and you, yeah, you totally deny and you pretend your body couldn't contribute. Your, your body couldn't be a contribution to you. Wow. Wow. Everything that is, can we please destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, right, wrong, good, good online, 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 trust voice and beyonds. Yeah. I do have a question actually for actually everybody on the call as well. It's like how many of us uh, know that our body is this very intelligent and aware entity. Uh, and the example I'd like to give is that it, it, it's, you don't ever have to tell your body, like do any of us get up in the morning and say, okay, kidneys turn on, lungs turn on, heart turn on. Doesn't our body do whatever it can to keep you alive and kicking? Like, isn't it cool that a fever shows up in your body when you have some other infection. It's like your body automatically tries to fight it, right? But we misunderstand and misidentify that as an illness. Isn't that interesting? Like we, we, we have this absolutely aware, intelligent entity. We use all our time and all our energy to study everything outside of us. We never turn inwards. We never try to understand this one thing that is with us 24 hours, keeping us alive, keeping us kicking and thriving, doing whatever it can to make sure that we get to do whatever we want to do. So everywhere we have ignored it, dismissed it, not want to know it, can we please destroy and uncreate that? Right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, voice and beyonds. Yeah, so awesome. we, it's like people don't really know about their body they, they just have yeah. a body and then they take it for granted 
Like, yeah. So you never, you never truly appreciate your body. You're not connected with your body. Um, so, and when your body does it, what it needs to do, and then you totally don't understand, and then you judge your body. <laughs> you think your body is wrong, it's bad. So yeah. if you... If you do this with, let's say if you have someone, a real person, a friend, or maybe a lover, and if you keep doing what you do to your body, to that real person, that person will run away from you. Right? If you judge your body, you judge your body so much. Yeah. If you judge a real person, that person will run away. But your body has no choice. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> yeah, I can't run away. But in fact, you know, Gary goes all the way to even like say, if your body was your pet, it would run away, you know. It didn't even have to be another person. Even if it was your dog, it would run away if you treated your dog that badly, right? Yeah. So it's so interesting. But you know, my question, Ryan, actually is, when do we learn to disconnect from our bodies? Because when we are born, we are pretty connected, right? Like as babies, mm -hmm. if you watch little babies, they're always exploring their body. It's like a sense of adventure. They look at their hands. They try to see what they can feel when they touch something. And you know, their eyes keep darting and just try to take in their world. It's like, there's almost this sense of excitement of being here on the planet. And I'd really like to take, uh, take the liberty to say that the only reason why we get to be here on the planet is because we have a body, right? Well, you can be on the planet as a spirit, as a ghost, but if you want to enjoy everything here physically, you need a body. Absolutely. So this is, yeah. Your body is actually very valuable, but you just don't see it as valuable. Yeah. So is it because like we grew up around people who like judge their bodies all the time? Is that what is taught to us? Because uh, it's, it, it's a very interesting topic. And I love studying. I work with bodies, like with the body processes. And even before I got into access, I had learned modalities where touching the body or the healing of the body through energy work, such an interesting um, it was of such interest to me uh, and the, you know tapping into like oh my god if you like kind of really spend some time in like wondering what your body is really capable of it is like mind freaking blowing right like uh -huh. imagine you get cut and the wound shuts on its own right and like all the times that your body is giving you so much awareness all the time, like you're going down a dark alley and you suddenly know that you shouldn't be here and you start walking faster. Like our body is like giving us awareness all the time. And yet, like, what is it that doesn't allow us to actually value it and connect with it? Like, can we talk a little more about it? And genuinely, it's also my question. Like, how do we learn to like disengage and disassociate with our body so much? Well, I try to look for a possible root cause of, or shall we say point of creation in this lifetime and I can't really find it. So it's like, for how long and for how many lifetimes have you been, oh, have you been treating your body as Treating your body, um, not as a lover, not as a friend, not as a companion, only as a foe, wow, as an enemy, <laughs> as something you even try to destroy. Yeah, oh my God, okay. Everything that is, can we please destroy and uncreate it all? Yuck. Right, Ooh, wrong, right bad bug, 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 bug. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. I think I need the barf bag. We should have like given them barf bags along with it, like energetic barf bags. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. That's so cool. So all of the <sighs> lifetimes, all of the life, this also brings to me like all of the lifetimes we've learned from anyone or any where or any if we've been part of like I know as an Indian 
there a whole lot of learning about the body also comes it's strange we are the land of kama sutra we do talk about a lot of communion with body uh, with uh, you know your sexualness and all of that and yet we are also the land which teaches us you need to give up your body to have spiritual progress so all yeah. of that that we learned from any sect any cult any religion any academy any institution any school any any religion any um, modality from this lifetime or any other lifetime can we please destroy and uncreate right around good and bad pong and pot all nine shots boys and beyonds yeah this is one thing that i appreciate access a lot um i still remember when i first found this thing called the access body class and then it it was written there like uh have you forgotten about your body on your way to becoming more conscious so in access we know that how valuable your body is and how much a gift your body is so we everything that we do on our way of becoming more aware more conscious we bring our body along okay and your body not yeah. that it's, it's not like your body has to follow you but your body go at the same time with you and fully support you yeah but then in so many uh religions or some metaphysical or spiritual things it's they have the ideas like body is the it's like the source Road of sin block. yeah because yeah because of is because of your body you have all this desire for food for pleasure for sex and it's all wrong and when you don't have and so you have to go through a lot of tough work okay so <laughs> and then to to achieve enlightenment and when you don't have your body anymore then you are enlightened so yeah. how many of you have such point of view your body stops you from being enlightened and when you don't have a body anymore you can be enlightened oh my god why wow. oh my god everything that is can we please destroy and uncreate it right wrong good and bad ah, okay. right wrong good bad but but nine shots boys and beyonds <sighs> wow i think we need to run that one more time ryan <laughs> So from where and when and whom have you learned that the body is the source of problems Ew. the source of wrongness the source of sin the source of evilness and everything against enlightenment and only when your body is gone you can be enlightened fuck everything that is time to go yes. and do now this time credit off Right, wrong, yes, good and bad, hard and hard, all nine shots, boys and girls. <laughs> oh my freaking <sighs> god, that is such a killer! But you know, Ryan, I'm so grateful to Access as well because um, prior to Access, uh, I was. Uh, uh, I, I know I mentioned this in the first call as well that I was diagnosed with bipolar, and generally, people who are bipolar do not like to be in their body. they feel they are alive when they're not in their body having a body is actually the greatest limitation it's like it's not fun like for a bipolar being in the body is actually a pain and uh, when i got into access and you know with the help of all the with the help of the bars and all the body processes very little by little i actually started enjoying being in my body and more than that having a body and really being grateful for the things that i could do because i had a body like holding hands or hugging like my having sex or you know oh having sex i was hoping we'd get to that a little later you know what happens when we start talking about sex <laughs> it's the fridge I will, I will it's the cupboard crazy. it's the kitchen <laughs> I, i will start telling all wrong things so yeah so uh <laughs> okay I, i need to control myself okay so you take the lead <laughs> oh how about you how about you allow yourself to go totally out of control after all we are talking about bodies and sex is a huge part about bodies right well it's it's one big part i, I wouldn't say huge because when we say huge we make sex like too significant and then it goes into another direction that we don't want to go so yeah uh, hmm. 
is also, I stand corrected, is also a part of bodies. It's also yes, one of yes. the things that bodies get to enjoy, mm -hmm. right? But it's so interesting, right? How many of us really, really like it when a good friend holds our hands and lets us know energetically that they're there for us? Or when our moms hug us, or when we get a hug from a child, or when we uh, you know, can smile at each other. And like so much energy is created in the interaction of bodies that actually not possible if we don't have a body, right? Yep. And, but yeah. then we, we have so many points of view of being touch, especially Asian. I'm not sure about Indian, but Asian, like we don't oh, touch as much. Me. I think Asia plus India is like the whole world. <laughs> I still have a question. Is India part of Asia or not? <laughs> maybe yes, maybe not. I, I think I on the map it is, but I don't know any. <laughs> I, okay. I think on the map it is part of okay, Asia. So some, someone says so. Officially, India is part of Asia, but India doesn't feel like it's part of Asia. Okay, put it this way. <laughs> because it's, it's too big to be on its own. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. So, At least for this call, it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, uh, when we have so many points of view of like, cool. which so, part of uh, our body shouldn't be touched, and then when people touch you, yeah. Some, okay. Some people don't really have good touch. Okay. I don't I don't know if I can have a different way of saying that. Some people have very kind and caring touch, and some don't. And uh but I should say a lot of people don't. And sometimes it, it could be because of some bad experience and then we are like um, I don't want to be touched anymore whenever someone touched me I just feel weird or maybe some previous trauma and then you like some previous abuse and then you're like I don't want to be touched anymore um, so your body likes to be touched if you don't have point of view your body likes to be touched like if you have a dog or a cat if you, when you touch your dog like you, you can see your dog totally enjoy the touch you're like oh Wow, okay. Uh, so, how many judgments do we have that wouldn't allow our body to receive the touches that nurtures your body? Wow. Everything there is times a gazillion. So, like including your judgment of the other person and your judgment of touching and your judgment of your own body, you're like, my body is so ugly. No one would touch me. Everything that is times a gazillion, you will now destroy and create it all. Right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. <coughs> so how, how many judgments do you have that stop your body from receiving the touches that nurture you, your body? Everything that is times a gazillion, we will now destroy and create it all. Right, wrong, good and bad, talk and part, or nine shots, boys and beyonds. Okay, Sangeeta look like you are very busy. So. <laughs> uh. no, I'm, okay. You know, my network is not working too well. So I'm trying to tell everybody to just not use the Wi-Fi for the next hour. Because there's nothing else to do. Everybody's always on the Wi-Fi. Uh, but is it working okay. all right for everybody now? Like, Ryan, uh, I can't see you. Sometimes you could cut off a little bit, but I can still yeah. get what you are saying. Okay, Tell cool. them, that's good. If you use internet at the end of this hour, you will lose your body. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God, that's my kids, I'm warning. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, then don't say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay awesome so you know ryan i do want to talk about like um also like uh, how you know these days dane is talking so much about the reaction action talk so my question mm -hmm. is how much of our lives have we been reacting to our bodies instead of creating with our bodies what do you mean reacting to bodies so uh reaction occurs when when we operate out of judgment mm -hmm. So everything that is, can we please destroy and create? You just said how much we judge our bodies, right? So everywhere we react to our bodies instead of create with our bodies, can we please destroy and create that? 
right, wrong, good and bad. And I'd love and just boys and beyonds. Yeah, and I'd really love to give an example. I'm going to be really, really vulnerable here. So with this whole lockdown thing, and you know, I love going for walks and I haven't been able to go for walks because of the lockdown. We're not even allowed to go to the park behind our house. And um, uh, I was sitting on my sofa and I was doing all my work. And I swear I suddenly heard my ass talk. And it said, if you're not going to move this thing, it is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> And I freaked, okay? I was like, holy shit. Like, you know, it was so, I was like, holy shit. And obviously in that moment, I didn't even ask like, who does this belong to? Or is this really my body giving me an awareness? I just went into, I'm not eating from tomorrow. And I better go and do like, maybe climb up the stairs. I live like on like the third floor. And I was like, instantly, I was like, maybe I should just go up and down the stairs. I should stop eating for a while. Maybe I should just like, not like we're not moving our bodies. We should just not eat. And uh, you know, oh, how can I get more movement into my body? Uh, maybe I should just sleep through the day and like, <laughs> so that I don't open my mouth so that I don't put anything in my mouth and I saw my mind go through that and then I was just like holy shit am I am I just reacting right now and then I was like okay fucking about all of this and then I just asked that question that Dane's been encouraging us to ask so much what can I what can I create to, what action can I take today that will create something different here or what can I create today that will what can I what can what action can I take today that would create more ease, joy, glory, and lightness in my body right away? Right? I and think also, it should be something so different. No, I just want to add like, a like instead well, I think, of I, think like, I, I I remember the, the other question is what action can I take for me to be out of reaction? I think something like this. Yeah, yeah, there's also that. There's also that that what that will negate all reactions. So everything mm -hmm. that is, so what action, so everywhere we've been reacting with our bodies instead of creating with our bodies up until now, can we please destroy and uncreate all of that? Right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. And what action and choice can we choose today that would negate all reactions right away with total ease, joy and glory? Everything that doesn't allow that, time to God, Zillion, we will now please destroy and create it all. Right, wrong, good, bad, bad, work, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. And what action can you take today that would spark more joy, more lightness, more energy, or whatever it is that you want in your body right away? And everything and what, that doesn't allow that. No, what action, and also, what action can you take that your body will appreciate you for doing that? Yeah, and be grateful to you for doing that. Oh my God, this is so nice. Our body just got so happy. And I really wanted to, sh yeah, I wanted to share that it was such a funny moment. And like the minute I ran the clearings and I was willing to ask another question, my body just showed me that there is something that I used to love doing, but I haven't been allowing myself to do because of so many reasons. Life had got so busy. I, you know, I had the house and the kids to take care of and all of that. And it was only turning on music and dancing. And I turned on the music and I danced with my daughter and I had so much fun. And it was like all laughs and my body felt so good. And my body, and like that day, it was like I was also putting less food in my mouth because I'd finally given my body something that it required, that it probably was asking for, which is so cool, right? So what if we are willing to ask a question instead of going down the rabbit hole of all conclusions and judgments and decisions Everywhere we've already decided what is good for our body and what is not good for our body. Can we please destroy and create it? Right, wrong, good and bad, pog and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Whoa. So, um, I think this is a very good conversation. I would really like to go more into this. Like, um, Yeah, but we do have someone uh, who wants to like ask a question. We have Shadad from India who, who wants to ask a question. So, we can, should we allow I mean, him to? Yeah. Yes. Sharad, would you like to unmute yourself and ask the question, please? Can, can he unmute himself? Uh, I can unmute him. Hang on. Yes. It's your time to speak. Um, yeah, there Sharad is, and I'm unmuting you now, Sharad. Hi. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Hi, Sangeeta. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay, so um, uh, thanks for this call. And my question is that uh, in the current scenario, the body 
like you said, might want to step out. The body might want to have sex. The body might want to eat a pizza. Okay, so uh, how do I convince my body <laughs> that for the next two months you gotta just uh, you know um, not do all this? Like, how do I? So, so I don't know if it's a silly that's question. such a that no, it isn't actually. It's a really great question. I wonder how many <laughs> more of us on this call really have that question. I know that Ryan. Something happened to Ryan when you asked that question. So I'm gonna tell Ryan to answer this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was. I was just having a good laugh. <laughs> uh, you know, it's true when it's light for you, right? Like you laughed like that, babe. I wonder what about this question like was tickling you? <laughs> okay, well, okay, now, now, okay. So, whatever that you thought you perceive that your body need, let me ask you this. For example, let's take the pizza as example. So, true. Was it your body that won the pizza or another body, someone else's body that won the pizza? Which one is lighter? Uh, my body wanted pizza. Okay. Uh, okay, just try. If you say someone else's body won the pizza. Okay, someone just, else's body wants, wanted the pizza. Uh, which lighter? one? <sighs> yeah, this is light. <laughs> Okay. Awesome. Yeah, would you like to return that to sender, Sharad? Yeah, I'd like to return it to sender. Right, wrong, cool. bad, 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 all nine shots, why sender? Can I say something, Ryan, here? Yes, like, of Like, I, I, I wanted, like, you know, it's so interesting, Sharad, that you brought up this topic. And the one tool that we, which, like, kind of creates so much space for us is such an easy tool that none of us will use it, which is who does it belong to, for yeah. everything that shows up. And especially now, and like I started the call by saying that your body has an innate wisdom. It has this internal machinery, which is so conscious it, 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 that it is aware of everything. And it is also aware of what it needs to, the one thing that bodies are is very adaptable. Okay. And your body has preferences. We have judgments, but your body has preferences. Okay. So Everywhere we've decided that our bodies currently are going to ask us for what is not available or what you cannot give it. Can we please destroy and uncreate all of that? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, 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 all nine shots, poison. Yeah. And, well, what I'm getting is, you know, people are really crazy. When you tell them not to do something, they want to do it. So a lot of yeah. people when they are like being quarantined at home, suddenly they want to like, I want to eat pizza. Okay. Normally they, they might not care about pizza, but suddenly like, I just want pizza because I'm not allowed to have it. I must have it now. Also so, sex. Because <laughs> <laughs> sex. Yes. they can't have sex right now. So they want it even more. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. People are so trained to just react. So yeah, this is how we react as well. When something you're not allowed to have, you react like, I must have it. So how many other bodies reaction? No, it's not other bodies reaction. How many other beings reaction? That are related is your to body. body. Yeah, is your body aware of? And you try to fulfill their crazy need. Wow. With your body. Oh. It's like you eat for other people. You fuck for other people. Should I say that? No. <laughs> oh my God, but you just did. Only <laughs> <laughs> that Every is times a gazillion we didn't notice where I'm credit off. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> right, 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 all nine shots, boys and yes. So everywhere that you force your body to eat what it doesn't want to eat, sleep, yeah, that's the better word. Sleep with someone that your body doesn't want to sleep with. Do exercise that your body doesn't want to do. Um... And a lot of, and how many of those belong to someone else? And everything that is times a godzillion, we will now destroy and create it all. Yes. Right, yes. wrong, good and bad, punk and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Wow. I can feel like wow. the body is like, body is feeling thankful. Body is like, finally, you got me, you asshole. No, you idiot. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> your body is always telling you. Okay, but we are not listening. That's the problem. 
Yeah, absolutely. So I wonder, I wonder uh, if you were to use who does it belong to, like how much of those, those needs just dissipate on their own? Like what if we were all willing to like just tap into our bodies right now and everything that does not belong to us, can we please now return it all to Senna with consciousness attached? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pork, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. And everything that does not belong to us, but we've bought as, as if it's ours and are now trying to deal with it. Can we please destroy and uncreate all of that as well? Yes. Right and wrong, good and wrong, bad, pot and pork, all nine, nine shots, shots, boys. boys. And so, if you would, if, sorry, if you were to ask, like, what is my reality with my body here? I just want to add something that is somehow irrelevant, but just for fun. So let's say your body has the need to have sex that don't belong to you. So you can ask, who the fuck does this need of fucking belong to? <laughs> no, just, just, just how I entertain myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but interestingly also, right? Interesting or interestingly also, like, even if it's like, even if you do desire to have sex, like where are you making uh, the whole quarantine or the whole lockup as such a solid and vital and valuable reality that you're not willing to ask a different question to create a different reality here? What if you tapped into that and you like, okay, let's say your body truly does desire to have sex. What if you asked your body, okay, body, who or what can we receive with? receive from and you never know what that's going to show up as the 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 conclusion that this is a need for sex one and that the only way i can have sex is with another body and if like you know because there is a difference between sex and copulation okay so sometimes it's an energy that comes up and it may feel like you want to have sex, but maybe it's, it's something else. Like, would you be willing to play with that question and ask? And what if it's like standing on your terrace and really receiving the energies from all the plants and the trees? What if your body's asking for that? And everything that doesn't allow that, can you please destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, 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 all nine shots, boys and beyonds. And I also want to, like, because Ryan, Ryan started this for fun and being naughty, like, uh, maybe it's not such a bad idea to um, also, like, help yourself and discover what works for you in a very different manner. Like, what different reality can you have with masturbation? What different reality can you have with the sex toys that you've bought over the years? Maybe this is Everything the time that you, you master your skill of masturbation. Hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> like, how much more fun would that be? And everything that doesn't, because consciousness includes everything, guys. Right? So. Right? And what uh, if you, like, in the process of this quarantine, got to know that, oh my God, there are aspects of me or aspects of sex or aspects of copulation that I've never tapped into because I've always done it in this one way or I've, like, always, like, you know, approached it in one, this, one, this particular way. Uh, I don't know, direction or way or whatever that is. Like, how much more fun can you have with everything that shows up? Like, everywhere we're, made, everywhere we're letting this quarantine period uh, limit us or block us from, can we please destroy and uncreate it all? And that too is a reaction to the quarantine. So everywhere we are all reacting to quarantine, can we please destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Right, wrong, good and bad, fun and part, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. And all the problems that you have already decided quarantines will bring to your body uh well even your body actually is okay but you just decide that's is that's a problem will you please destroy and create it all right wrong good and right, bad wrong, and wrong. Wrong. all nice boys and beyonds awesome did that help you. You? yeah yeah Are you majorly, like majorly. thank you so much both of you <laughs> you're so, so welcome so we, uh, so ryan we do have a couple more uh, questions sure uh, kanika is asking can you talk about earth and bodies please especially during this time how can our body thrive during this time why not <laughs> so. yeah where have you decided that your body cannot thrive during this time 
Do you know, so, do you know, uh, sorry, I just need to say this because mm-hmm. if I don't say it, I will explode. Do you know that <laughs> your body, I will, I will, because it's like, it's never been purer in my universe than this. Like, I swear I would explode. Do you know that your body is the little earth? Do you know that your body and the earth are made up of the same things? Do you know that your body is so connected and so aware of the earth that you've never ever acknowledged destroy and uncreate it all right wrong good bad pot pork all nine shots poison beyonds and did you know can you tap into the energy on the earth right now do you know that it's actually working towards thriving have you seen how the levels of pollution have dropped have you seen how many exotic animals are actually out in nature can you see the sense and the space and the peace and everywhere you're not allowing your body to experience this because you've decided that the lockdown will not allow your body to thrive. Can we please destroy and uncreate all of that? Right, right and wrong, good and bad, bad and bad. Right, that's boys and beyonds. So, no, I just wanted to Thank say, like, so how many points of view do you have about quarantines and how many of those points of view belong to someone else? Okay, so all the points of view about quarantine, Everywhere, quarantine means something bad to you or your body and everything that doesn't allow you to use this time, this quarantine, to your advantage for you and your body. Will you please destroy and create it all? Yes. Right, wrong, good right, and wrong. bad, but I'm online shots, points and beyonds. So by asking a question, you come up from reaction into action, into choice. What if quarantine, it can be something that contributes to your body? I don't know how it will show up, but by asking that, your body will tell you, okay? Your body doesn't have, your body is smart. Your body is aware. So those problems, your body don't need to have these problems. They just keep imposing on our bodies and then blame the, the quarantine, okay? And speaking about earth, I was like, to, like, let's try this, okay? So get the energy of earth right now, everyone like earth in general, okay? Um, get the energy of earth, let's say, one month ago before lockdown. Okay, and then get the energy of earth right now. Okay, do you feel the difference? Wow. Okay, how happy is earth right now? <laughs> so, uh, actually, I'm very happy with this quarantine thing, uh, even though I don't get to travel, but I'm like, Earth, if this is what you require, let's, so be it, okay? I'm happy to not travel for now, but yeah, so you see, work with Earth, create with Earth, instead of trying to use your mind to decide what is good for Earth, so you see, we try to use our mind to decide what is good for our body, it doesn't work, we use our mind to decide what's good for <coughs> Earth, and it doesn't work. <clears throat> so let earth show you let your body show you everywhere that you oh, make I love you that so question. dumb yes. everywhere that you make you so dumb you cannot perceive you cannot receive you cannot hear what the earth is telling you and your body <sighs> will you please destroy and create it all yes please right wrong good right, bad, wrong, bad, good bad, 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 and bad on my first voice and the others Wow, thank you so much for that, Ryan. Allowing the earth to show us and allowing our body to show us. And what if, like, for anything related to the body, you were willing to say, okay, body, can you lead the way? Can you show me how? What would that create? And then you just have to be willing to receive that information, right? And it never shows up the way you think it's going to show up. So everything that brought up or let down, can we please destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, bad and bog, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. I also love that you said that, okay, right now, this earth is our home, right? If there was no earth, we'd all be flying into space. And I don't know if we'll exist. This is our home. And if mm-hmm. our home requires this right now, to change, to transform, to transmute, to heal, can we all be willing to be that that has her back? That mm-hmm. says, like what Ryan said, okay, if you need this, I'm here. And yeah. I'm okay to go with you. So everything that doesn't allow that, can we please destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good and bad, wrong and part, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So you see, it's not that the earth needs us, but we need earth. 
Yes. Okay. Yes. So don't try to decide what will happen next or try to control a certain outcome. Like just contribute energy to earth, like earth, whatever energy you need, I'm happy to contribute. Do whatever you need to do. If you need to kill some stupid, feel free. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Ryan, now that you brought it up, can we do some earth contributions on the call with everybody and maybe like uh, have everyone join us here? Um, sure. How do you want to do it? There are so, so many ways to do it, but like how do you want to do it? Uh, um, what's popping up for you? I normally just do the one, two, three contribution to the earth. So. Um, uh, okay. Yes, that works. Do you remember that body process about the 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 the, the, the certification thing? Can no, we do actually, that? I I don't have it off the off my thing. I'll have to look for it. Uh, it it's I, in the it's in the being different stage, right? I can look, I, I can pop yes, it up. I, I I can find it. Uh, so, okay. Okay. Uh, cool. So while you're looking for that process, uh, I'd, I'd like to uh, share something. There is a question that I can take actually. Okay. Uh, Kane, uh, Hema says, there is so much overload of information from outside and how to protect my body. My body cringes. What is the best tool I can use? So I'm going to give you one tool, uh, uh, Hema, which is just like it was given to us right now. Now, like just 10 seconds before this call, Ryan and me got it straight from Dr. Da from Dr. Dean. It's fresh up the press, which is who the fuck does this belong to? <laughs> <laughs> and everything that is and everything that doesn't belong to you. Can you please now return it to center with consciousness attached? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. What if your body is giving you the awareness of all other bodies that are like at this time not willing to that are reacting to all that information, that are buying it as real and true, that are actually limiting what is possible right now because they've already decided this is doomsday, things are just going to get worse or whatever else it is. Everything okay. that is, can you please destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, but work on the insurance boys. Yeah, Ryan. I, I got the process now. So, okay. uh, so with this body process, it is a bit different. The other body processes, they are usually run on our bodies. With this body process, it run, it can, you can run on your body and you can also run it for Earth. Okay. okay. Uh, so I'm not going to talk about running it on your body. So if you're really interested, if your body desire, please go to a body process class or a three-day body class. But for now, um, how we can contribute to Earth with this is with your hands facing down, like palm facing down. Uh, Connect with the immune systems of planet Earth. So However, the immune system of the planet Earth. Yes. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. So I'm just going to pop it in the chat. Yeah. Immune system of planet Earth. Okay. However it shows up, okay, don't analyze, don't think so much. Just connect with the immune system of planet Earth and ask this energy to run. Okay, I will, I will say the name of the energy and you just, you don't need to remember, you just ask it to run. Elimination and eradication of the microbiotic decertification of dermis and the actualization for the microbiotic generative dermis for body and earth. Oh yeah, run. Keep it running for a while. Um, so this is something that you can actually do wherever you are. Uh, and I find I've been doing this in many different places, in different cities, and I find that it feels quite different. Maybe certain part of Earth, it needs more, or maybe it needs it differently. So connect with the immune systems of Earth, wherever you are, and just ask elimination and eradication of the microbiotic desertification of dermis and the actualization for the microbiotic generative dermis for body and Earth. Right, wrong, good and bad, fun and bad, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Cool. Keep it running, keep it running. And you can actually feel that when you run it for Earth, your body is actually running it at the same time and receiving some magic. Cool. so interesting when you were running that process my internet completely stopped really i can still hear you 
you can hear me but everything in my screen is really blurred and it was like frozen and <laughs> so uh, i i'm assuming it doesn't work at all <laughs> okay so what can you contribute to uh, earth everyone so what can you contribute to earth uniquely and what can we as a group together can contribute to earth and for earth everywhere that we thought we couldn't everywhere that we don't believe we can contribute to the earth everywhere that we have only learned to take from earth oh god and well let's destroy and create all that right wrong good and bad pop and pot all nine shots boys and beyonds yes Wow. I feel like I don't need to talk anymore. I just keep it running. <laughs> and Vinda is like, yes, stop talking. <laughs> uh -huh. cool. uh, I, and I also like, I, now that you mentioned that, it's so interesting. What if we all were also willing to ask our bodies questions that are related to our bodies? Like, what if uh, starting to can to ask our bodies questions that are to do with our bodies like okay body are you hungry what would you like to eat what would you like to wear today how would you like to move what if those were also ways that you started building a sort of a communion and a connection with your body yes everything that doesn't allow you to ask questions can you please destroy and create all of that Right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyond. Right, wrong, ask, bad, bad, bad. ask and listen. If you ask and you don't listen, you are an asshole. <laughs> so, you know, people that ask and then they, they don't listen, they are like asshole, A S K H O L E. <laughs> <laughs> so, everywhere, <laughs> everywhere that you are an asshole to your body, <laughs> will you please destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine <laughs> boys. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> That's so cool, right? We have an asshole and then we are assholes. <laughs> uh, so, and when, when, when you feel like the energy is done, you, you, yeah, you don't need to keep running the energy. Okay, so I just suddenly feel like, ah, oh, that kind of like, it comes to an end after a while. Yeah. So. Cool. Wow. Cool. I, I feel more cool. energized. So, and more does anyone relaxed. have any other question? Would you like to pop it in the chat? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if uh, um, something's coming up for like everyone on the call as well. Like, how was that process for you? Yeah. Someone has a question. Uh, Natasha. Natasha has a question. Yeah. Yeah. Should I mute? Should I unmute her? Do I'm muting her? I'll unmute her. Natasha. Okay. Spin. Natasha. Yeah. Hi, Sandita. Hi. The call is really awesome, and I was doing the process. I just didn't want to stop. You know, my hands were like vibrating, like so much energy. I can't tell you. Thank you so much. Hey, uh, I have a question. I know I have tried a lot, but I'm still working on it. That when I get my uh, periods. I feel very low, you know, so like there are times where I feel low. It's improved from before, but I still feel low. I can't really hear you clearly. Uh, when are you feeling low? When I get my periods. Ah, okay. Who does that belong to? I've tried all that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you being an asshole? Oh. No, it's not. So it's like I've I'm tried, if you've tried, something. who does that belong to? Yes, yeah. I have tried. See, you try. You don't really use it. You try. And um, you, if you have decided feeling low, if you decided that's yours, and then you ask a question, it will not help that much, OK? You have to ask a question from, from the space of no conclusion, no pre-conclusion, okay? So uh, if you ask that question and then it's, it doesn't help, uh, you can say, so everywhere that you have already made that yours, you concluded that as yours, 
And that's why asking who does that belong to will not help. And that means you believe even more it's yours. Will you please describe and credit all? Yes. Right, wrong, good and bad, part and part, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So everyone, um, not just you, so whatever that you have been trying to change, that you ask who does that belong to and it couldn't change and that made you believe even more it's yours but actually it's because you won't let it be changed so you use who does that belong to against you to be to make you believe those problems belong to you will you please destroy and create it all yeah wow right wrong good and bad power and part all nine shots boys and beyonds uh, wow i ooh. and now uh Try it again, ask who does that belong to? Okay, so this time do you get awareness that is it yours or someone else's? Yeah, it's someone else's. Okay, so sometimes if you have conclusion, it affects your awareness. So you, you are asking questions, but you're not really asking questions. You just have the act of asking questions, okay? so. If that happened again for all of you, please talk and talk whatever conclusions that you already have. And then this who does that belong to will work, will really work for you. Now, with this new awareness of this feeling low is not yours, will you now please let it go, return back yeah. to senders, yes. go right, wrong, good and bad, talk and talk, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Oh yeah. Uh, all right, how do you feel now? Good, thanks. Yeah, awesome. How does it get any better than this? Vinda, you have to translate now. <laughs> so, so we have another, we have like a couple more questions on the, on the chat. We have a question okay. from Saloni. She's saying, I have been ha having carpal tunnel syndrome for the past seven months and it's just gotten worse. What could I do to help my hand heal? Stop masturbating. No, 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 no. Talk about <laughs> or maybe masturbate a little more. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, everything that that brought up for everybody on the call or let, let down for you. Can we please destroy and uncreate it all? <laughs> right, wrong, good, right, I'm bad, wrong. I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm <coughs> Holy cow, Ryan. We really need to do a call on sex. <laughs> yes. I, I, if you listen back to the first call and then compare to this one, I'm getting worse with each call. So, <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, well, uh, I, I got the same thing. I will just ask you the same question. Who does that belong to? And if you have tried that question, are you being an asshole? So that's it from me. Cool. <laughs> uh, also, uh, like, if, you, if you have um, something else, you can add. Okay, so. All right. Yeah, like for me, it's also like uh, asking which body process can I run that will create more ease in my body? And then maybe running that body process. So even if you have like, you haven't gone to a three day body uh, class, but you have been to a foundation or learned like a simple body process like MTV SS or cellular memory, or uh, even uh, uh, if you've done the foundation, then there is also the molecular manifestation, molecular demanifestation. If you just ask your body, which process will contribute and just be willing to run that process, maybe, uh, so she's saying I haven't been to any other uh, any other class. Maybe it's time now to join like a foundation uh, class because the foundation gives you so many body processes and it it teaches us MTVSS, which, which is the mother process of access. I I go to it for everything, like a simple toothache to something really big in my body. I, I, I mean, my first thing is to turn to MTVSS. So maybe Saloni, you would want to like, just ask questions and see, and you're like, it's such an awesome time right now. We all have time on our hands and all, all CFs, all certified facilitators are able to um, facilitate the foundation online. And I know Ryan has one coming up. I also have one coming up and there are a lot of facilitators out there. So you may want to play with which one, which class will contribute to you and choose one of those. Yeah, so 
um, you might also ask your body, like, body, do you require external help? Like, maybe, body, do you really need, this, need to see a doctor? Sometimes the body needs, so don't assume that the body process, like, is the replacement. Um, yeah. Sometimes the body process is the only thing your body needs. Sometimes your body might also need something else. Um, so, ask your body, yeah. body, what do you need? Awesome. How does it get any better than this and what else is possible? So, uh, mm, we do have more questions, Ryan, and we also have someone who's raised her hand. So should we yes. take her question first? So Usha, I'm, I'm just go I, I'm, go. okay. Usha, I am going to unmute you. You can ask your question, and everyone else, please mute yourself <coughs> so that this can be recorded clearly. I'm just going to unmute Usha. Uh, wow, I can't see you on the list of people. That's so interesting. Okay, I got you. Wait, I am just unmuting you. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, go okay. for it. Okay. Hi, Sangeeta. I'm Usha Hi. here. Yeah. Uh, I to, uh, just now you said about MTVSS uh, that you run on any of your, if you have any problem on your body or what, like toothache and just now you said, right? So how long do you run that MTVSS? I just follow the energy usually. I just place my hand, like uh, I can tell you like the incidents with my toothache, it happened at night. So I actually fell asleep while running it on my hand. But in the morning when I woke up, it wasn't there. And the pain was so intense that I actually wasn't being able to sleep. So you just follow the energy. Keep your hands for as long as the energy is running. Sometimes you can sense the energy. Sometimes you can't, but somehow just, you'll know when it's like done, you'll know and you can just be, you know, remove your hands. Okay, thank you. Yeah? You're so welcome, honey. <laughs> awesome. How does it get any better than that? Cool. Anything else, guys? Yeah, there is one more question on the chat. No, Ryan, one second. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so there's a question from Deba uh, Priya. She says, uh, um, A, she's very grateful for both of us. We are also very grateful for you being here. And yeah, I love yeah, you yeah. so much. And uh, it gets a little difficult to have gratitude for the body when I am constantly experiencing one illness after the other. I tend to feel very angry and frustrated with my body when I'm periodically and chronically ill. How do I shift the energy at such times? Uh, I'm still reading the question. So what, do you want me to answer? <laughs> Well, I'm okay. I mean, I do have a question to ask her. And then, of course, you, I'm sure you have uh, some things to say as well. Mm. See, your, the body is quite innocent. The body does what you ask for. So sometimes we, with all these crazy points of view that we have, we create some funny thing in our bodies or our body creates some funny thing according to our points of view. And then we blame it all on the body. And when you blame your body, there is no gratitude. Gratitude and um, judgments, they don't coexist. The more you can be gratitude with your body, the, the less judgment you will have and the more you're in communion. And the more you're in communion, it's easier to change because you can just ask your body, hey body, what would it take for this to change? But if you keep judging, you, you have a separation between you and your body and you're like, hey body, can you change? It, it, it's harder, okay? So what if you can be grateful for your body no matter what happened to your body or what has happened to your body, okay? All the illnesses, all the, all the pains, what if with that, you can still be grateful for your body? Okay, yeah. those are not the reason and justification of why you don't have gratitude for your body. Okay, so this uh, is something, yeah. it, it needs some practice. I also have another question if I can ask her. Uh, so my question, Devapriya, is, I, is your body a healer? Are you a healer? And are you using your body to heal everyone and everything else? You can just pop in the answer, whatever shows up on the chat, so that we can take this further. And how many of you, not her, but how many of you are 
healing people with coronavirus. Oh. Okay, cool. So she said, yes, yes, I totally am. All right. So everywhere you have learned in any lifetime that the way to heal others is by pulling the illness into your own body. Can we please destroy and uncreate all of that? Right, wrong, good and bad, fuck and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Oh. So the ability to heal is actually a potency. But when we do it this way by making ourselves ill, we actually use our potency against ourselves. So everywhere you're using your capacity and potency to heal others and other things and the world and the earth against yourself, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Right, right wrong, wrong, good, good and bad, bad. Online shots, boys and beyonds. And the bummer is that if you have a capacity, you can't shut it down. But what you can do is you can ask your body, what is another way? Can you show me with total ease, joy and glory? And if you were willing, there are two parts to it. I don't know if this is the platform to talk about it, but I'd just like to give you a little information because during this time, I know a whole lot of us I have the, actually most of us have the healing capacity. So what if you were willing to ask your body, body, are you facilitating someone or something that I have not yet acknowledged? And that, okay, so when you ask this to yourself right now, what is going on in your body? Do you have more space? Does it get lighter or does it get worse? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if you, if, if it is, so if it is like, if you, if you feel, if you, if you're like asking your body, okay, body, are you facilitating someone or something? and your body gets lighter, then it is just the question of acknowledging it. Because once you acknowledge something, it can change. But if it is heavier, then you may want to ask, who the hell does this belong to then? Are you trying to facilitate something that is not even yours? That's not even your job. Just because, so just because you're aware of something, it doesn't mean you need to do something about it. So who or what have you decided you need to facilitate that actually is not even willing to receive from you? So now the only way to facilitate them is by pulling their shit into your body, which doesn't help them and it doesn't help you either. When we, when we give someone something that they don't want or don't, would not like to receive, it only hurts us. So everywhere we're doing that, can we please destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, right, good, wrong, bad, good, bad, So, so Devapriya, my question to you is, who or what are you facilitating that is refusing to receive this? <laughs> and for everyone for whom this is heavy, who or what are you trying to facilitate that actually didn't ask for this facilitation? That's going like, fuck you, I don't want to get rid of it. Why the hell are you forcing me to do that? Everything that is, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all and... Maybe return it to sender with consciousness attached, and they get to keep it for as long as they keep. They, you know, choose to keep it, and you don't have to do anything about it. Right, wrong, right, good, wrong, bad, good, 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 of course, yes, you and Natasha is asking if we will get the recording for the call. Definitely, I will post it in all the groups so you will have the recording as well. Once uh, it's up. I will upload it to my YouTube and then I, I will add it to the playlist of it's called Let's Talk About It. So, all the yeah. previous talk between me and Sangeeta and everyone else is all there. So, you'll yeah. also get the previous one. Um, Fantastic. Awesome. And one thing about so, Sorry, yeah. Uh, Go ahead, Ryan. Go ahead. One, one thing about the healing thing is if you don't acknowledge that you are a healer or your body is a healer, you cannot use your healing capacity for yourself. You just blindly try to heal everyone else and excluding you. So, what if you claim, own, and acknowledge all your healing capacities and let that be a contribution to your own life and your own body? Wow. Everything that doesn't allow that, everybody that you judge that's too selfish, <laughs> oh, helping you first, healing you first before everyone else, that sounds so wrong, so selfish, so evil. It, sh it should be everyone else first. We will please destroy and create it all. Yes, right, yes. wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. 
Cool, awesome. How does it get any better than this and what else is possible? So Devapriya is saying that's so me. That's exactly what I do. So I do hope this conversation like creates more lightness for you, Devapriya. And like I really, really wonder what else can show up for you if you're willing to acknowledge the healer that you are and also be willing to use that only when it can be received or when someone is really asking for it or when someone's willing to pay you. How about that? <laughs> Okay, awesome. How does it get any better than this and what else is truly possible? Um, there is another question, Ryan. So I'm just going to take that. There are two questions, actually. Maybe these two can okay. be the last two questions. Okay. Uh, All right. There is one from Grishma. She says, uh, any small symptoms of either cold or cough or fever is seeming scary and stressing. What if it may be COVID? And we don't want any system, uh, symptom to show up and undergo the test. Personally, I'm scared. What do I ask my body to keep herself healthy? Wow. So I'm going to still say, uh, please keep asking who does it belong to for everything that shows up. And the other question also is like, okay, when the fear shows up, like, can you, would you be willing to ask, like, am I reacting here? And then pocket and pod all that reaction. Because whatever we resist persists. Whatever we are afraid of, we generally create. So would you be willing to now destroy and create all of that and choose something else? Right, wrong, good and bad, pagan, pot, all nine shots, poison, beyonds. Yeah. Um, uh, so many people live in fear now and they are just like, okay, maybe I have it. Uh, I think it was just last week, I think I did a Zoom with the title Beyond Paranoia. Yeah. Uh, so listen to that it might help you a little bit it's a free zoom i think yeah i have it on my youtube as well if you just yeah. go youtube and find beyond paranoia you, you will find it yeah it was a great call uh Deva Priya. you might uh, you know the, it might answer your question i mean sorry not Deva Priya, uh, uh, this one uh grishma you might find your answer there so go to youtube and just type beyond paranoia i'm typing i'm typing it also on the chat the name so that you get it uh and we have another question ryan which is uh okay. Uh, from uh, Man, she says, my body has been fainting more since recent and it goes completely in trance. What can I ask here? Wow. <laughs> Why did that make you laugh, Ryan? I'm like, I'm, I, I'm like interested to I, know what's going on in your head. I, I, I have this weird sense of humor. I laugh at every problem. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Very inappropriately. So you can tell me, I have this problem. <laughs> I'm so pathetic. I was like, <laughs> okay, so well, forgive me for that. <laughs> you see, cool. if I, if I, with, with this sense of joy, I look at everything as changeable. So that's one reason why I have that like, oh, wow. <laughs> so, Everything is changeable. Please get this. Um, so, and, and <laughs> so for this, where is, I can't find a question anymore. Where is it? Um, yeah, it's, uh, you just have to go up a little bit. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, it, my question for you is like, what are you avoiding? Like the, the fainting, the going into trance is your preferred way of running away okay so what are you avoiding and the fainting and going to trance is your preferred way of running away yeah so everything that is can we please destroy and uncreate it all right wrong good right wrong good bad also, like I have a very uh, actually, uh, I remember what was like what was written in the foundation, and I totally love that. Like uh, when Gary asks us, like uh, the reason, so running away or checking out of your body. Usually, humanoids are really good at shutting down capacities and shutting and checking out of their bodies because they get overwhelmed with what they are aware of. So, everywhere you learn to do that, can you please destroy and uncreate all of that? Right, wrong, good, bad, boys and beyonds. And everything that you have decided you cannot handle and running away is your best choice. How much Which really doesn't do handle it. <laughs> yep. And so how many judgments do you have about your capacity to think that you are 
not good enough to handle that. And how much judgment do you have about the situation? Like, oh, this is so ugly. This is so terrible. I don't want to face it. Okay, I choose. <laughs> okay. And we think yeah. there is times a gazillion. Okay, this person said it's lighter now. Thank you. Right? Yes, Robert thank you. Oh, nice. Just for the audience. Awesome. And so, I mean, we've had such an awesome call and we've like taken it to places where we didn't even know uh, it was going to go. I would really like to end this call by asking you guys, this, just letting you know about something and also asking you that one question. Like, what have you decided you can't handle or what have you decided is your biggest problem, which is actually where you have your greatest potency? Everything that doesn't allow that, can you please destroy and untreat at all? Maybe you'd want to play right, with no, this yeah, till our next no, call. Yes. Yeah. Right? Like, I mean, it's so cool. The area of our lives that we make our greatest problem usually are the areas that we have our greatest capacity in, but we haven't acknowledged it, we haven't recognized it, and we obviously definitely don't own and claim it so that we can use it to our advantage. So what if you were willing to ask that question? And everything that doesn't allow that, can we please destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good, and bad, talk, and hot, or nice, just boys and beyonds. Whoa. Wow. Awesome. I loved it. And uh, I am really like so geared up and I'm like already like I have these ideas formulating for our next talk uh, for the next episode, uh, Ryan. So I'm so, so grateful for you for playing with me. And I'm so grateful for everybody who's here. Thank you so much, guys. We have just now I saw that we have like 90 people. And can you imagine with 90 of us contributing to Earth? Wow. That yeah, I wonder amazing. what we changed today. <laughs> Um, and I can sense all the thank you flowing to us. Yeah. Thank you so much for the for your thank you. Um, truly appreciate that. Um, yeah. Thank you guys. Till next time. And who knows? Okay. Maybe Ryan and me will finally talk about sex. <laughs> One day, someday. One day, someday soon. <laughs> um, so okay, just want to make a very very quick announcement, short announcement. So tomorrow uh, evening, my time evening. So maybe your late afternoon. If you are too boring, I have this class called Unboring Your Life with Creation. So if you have been quarantined at home, you don't know what else to do, you want to start some creation tomorrow. I'm the link. Uh, two parts telecall. Uh, so that's for tomorrow. And if you're interested in doing foundation with me, I have it in April 16 to 19 online. So that's my foundation class. All right. You can search so. for Unboring Your Life creation on Facebook it is also on my page and there is also an FB event and if you're interested just get in touch with me I will share the link with you and anyway in all the groups where I shared uh, uh, today's talk I'm going to again share uh, the poster and the link for that uh, some of you may have already seen it so I will share that and uh, uh, I'll also share Ryan and my foundation Ryan is having a foundation and so am I I'll give you all the details so then you can just choose uh, which class you want to take and if you choose to go with another facilitator, we still love you very, very much. And we look forward to having you back on the next episode soon. Yes. Oh, Thank by the way, you. the, the Unboring, so if you find the Unboring Your Life with Creation Facebook event page, there are five videos there with five different tips, clearings about creation. Uh, please enjoy that as well. Yeah, and I'll share all of that on my page as well. So for all of you who know me, you can just check it out on my page. Okay, cool. All right. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you. Very Thank Bye. Bye, Ryan. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, Vinda. We love you. Okay. We promise we will be good next time. <laughs> <laughs>